A creditor may perfect its security interest by filing a financing statement with the appropriate governmental entity. In ProGrowth Bank v. Wells Fargo Bank, we explore whether a financing statement may perfect a security interest even if it erroneously describes certain collateral. Christopher Hansen owned the Christopher Hansen Insurance Agency. We'll refer to Hansen and the agency collectively as Hansen. Hansen borrowed money from Global One Financial. To secure the loan, Hansen assigned his interests in two annuities issued by Fidelity and Guarantee Life Insurance Company to Global One. Wells Fargo, acting as Global One's collateral agent, filed two financing statements to perfect Global One's interests. Both financing statements identified Hansen as the debtor and further described the collateral as all of Hansen's assets and all proceeds in the respective annuity contracts. The first financing statement contained the wrong contract number and mistakenly identified the annuity's issuer as Lincoln Benefit. The second financing statement contained the correct contract number but mistakenly identified the issuer as Lincoln Benefit. Hansen later obtained a loan from ProGrowth Bank and assigned his interests in the same two Fidelity annuities to ProGrowth as security. ProGrowth filed financing statements that properly identified the annuities by both contract number and issuer. ProGrowth then sued Global One and Wells Fargo, which we'll collectively refer to as Global One, asserting that Global One's security interests in the annuities weren't perfected because its financing statements were seriously misleading. The district court agreed with ProGrowth and entered summary judgment in its favor. Global One appealed to the Eighth Circuit.